vlog back again with another video how you guys doing today i hope you guys are having a blessed and prosperous day so i'm not gonna say what day it is because on my last vlog it's the same day and i did say in that vlog that i would be wearing the same shirt however i got a little messy when i was cooking <laughs> so i just changed my blouse all together so today you guys i am bringing to you guys um another recipe you've seen me make this before but for all my new subscribers have not not went, went back and, and reviewed any of the videos my name is t-vlog and i am on youtube i'm on facebook reels also tiktok sometime i load some of my tiktoks on here so you guys can see you know what i just do you know my little reactions to videos and everything but if you loved i would love for you guys now everything that i bring here on youtube that is from tiktok so i'd like for you guys to go over and subscribe to tiktok if you're already there go into my uh <laughs> my name on there is uh courageous fit courageous t50 that's what I am, Courageous T50 on TikTok. And then you can just look me up on Facebook Reels under Trina. So, yes, you'll, you'll pop up and you'll see me on there, okay? You'll see my meals, you'll see DD on there and stuff. We're on there, so, yes. So, Trina, spell with the E, okay? All right, guys. So, <laughs> with that being said, I'm getting ready to bring another meal to you guys and i told you on the previous video that i'll be cooking two meals on the same day all right so today i am going to bring the second meal which would be a mexican taco mexican chili let me get it right i almost say mexican taco <laughs> but i'm about to bring mexican chili so let me show you guys what i'm about to use in this chili all right guys so in my mexican chili that i'm about to bring to you guys I will be using here, starting with the piece of the resistance, the meat. This here is some ground bison. So I will be using ground bison inside this here. Okay? It's ranch, ranch raised ground bison. And then I got here some chopped onions, frozen onions. Of course, you know I used it, and I used it in my last recipe that you will be seeing will be uploaded soon. And I'm using some chopped bell peppers, frozen bell peppers, orange and red bell peppers, okay? Of course, I got my garlic powder. You know, like I said, I buy those small ones for a dollar, fill them up right here, and I got garlic powder. And I have also here some onion powder. We need some cumin here. And then I use some uh, chili powder, okay? So for my thickening, I will use some tomato paste. I like also to use my mild diced tomatoes uh, with green chilies. I'm also going to use a can of Mexican corn and a can of black beans. So let me show you guys how I'm going to get this all together and mixed up and incorporated. And I also have some black pepper. <laughs> I'm going to have some black pepper. And just to give it a little kick with the black pepper, I'm going to add a little uh, Kanye pepper. And I think what I'm going to do also, I'm going to sprinkle a little smoked paprika in there. All right, you guys, let's get to it. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we're going to get started with a little EVOO. You know, I have to put a little bit of this here, extra virgin olive oil, into my bottom of my pan. Didn't have the pan on hot, so, but it shouldn't take long for it to get hot, you guys. So, in the meantime, while I'm waiting on the pan to get a little hot, I'm going to go in with some garlic. You know, I'm going to use a little minced garlic right on in here. Garlic is the bomb for dot com for everything. Oh, oh my gosh. But that's so good. I love garlic anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little garlic. I'm going to go ahead and add some of frozen onions. Just had to chop them up a little bit. You know, I'm not putting no whole clump in there because I'm going to leave the whole clump. Just that little bit right there. Me and Didi love onions and everything. Not everything, but most of the stuff. We're going to put some bell peppers in there. There we go. 
gonna let these saute for about about three minutes. Let it get good and soften. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and season those onions and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic powder. This ain't going to take it long for this here. I'm going to go ahead and add some onion powder. We're going to go ahead and add some smoked paprika. Smoked pap. Smoked pap. That's good. Smoked paprika. I'm going to go ahead and put some crushed black pepper in there because once I mix all this in, I'm going to go ahead and add that bison on in here. I'm going to take bison on it first. I'm going to go ahead and do some, some uh, Kanye pepper. Get a little spicy. So that meat can be a little spicy now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get this seared on in here real good. Let them uh, season it, marinate on up in there real good. See, see how that's going? Yes, yeah. just go ahead and cook everything right on up in here together. We're gonna let this go ahead and cook, and then I'm gonna come right on back with the bison. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and add that bison on in there. Add that bison meat on in there. Yeah, that shoe. Add that bison on in there. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to take the meat masher, and we're going to take this meat masher and, have, and, and, and let it mash up this bison real good for us. Turn this meat masher on up. We're going to go in into the pot and let it get all, get all those seasonings in there together with this bison. Okay. And we're going to just let this cook until it get completely done. So all we have to do is add our uh, beans chili and everything else in this in this mixture. Okay. So we're gonna set this aside and let this continue cooking like it should. Okay guys, so now I got this bison meat well done and cooked cooked incorporated good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start adding the corn. We're gonna add the tomatoes. Cup of water and from the tomatoes, and then we're going to add these black beans. One more can of water, okay. and now. What we're gonna do is the cumin in the in the uh this is cumin so we're gonna go ahead and add our cumin not too much <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and add our chili seasoning Ooh. I don't want to put too much that should be about enough of chili seasoning right there there we go y'all and then after that's pretty much looking good see how that's good and soupy that chili that Mexican chili I like for mine to have a little soup to it like a soup flavor mm. yes 
Then we'll come back in and we'll add We'll come back and we'll add the tomato. Hey guys, so I'm now finished completing the chili. I'm going to let it simmer for about an hour and maybe 10, 15 minutes and let it get all those good marinades of the bison meat and seasoning all together. You can use any type of meat you choose for making Mexican chili if you want to. Um, you can use <laughs> ground turkey. You can use, if you like person if you want to just vegetarian you can make it vegetarian for you if you want to use sausage whatever type of meat you want to use that meat or if you don't want to use any meat you can make it vegetarian for you all right guys so here we come back with that chili so now you want to get that chili with a good rolling boil on there it's just mexican chili guys and this is what it looks like and i'm not gonna put it up in a bowl but this is here it is right here. I've already put the tomato paste in there. I didn't show that part, but it's thickening up now. But it's still going to have a little soup to it. And you can add tortillas to the top of it. Sour cream, uh, cheese, cilantro, if you choose to. However, whatever you choose to put on top, this is that Mexican chili. And usually we serve this with cornbread. But uh, some people like to serve it with tor um, tortillas. Um, I like to serve it with cornbread. <laughs> and my kids used to love when I serve with cornbread. And I put jalapenos in here as well. So I have not did the jalapenos because this is going to be for another day. And yes, that's the end of this. For this chili. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And you too. If you have not seen... Uh, Facebook fans, if you have not seen how I made this Mexican chili, please follow me over to Simple Meals by T Vlog. That's Simple Meals by T Vlog. That's right. Space the wording so you can see how I made this Mexican chili. Love you guys. Peace in the Middle East. Don't forget that hair grease up. See y'all.